Guys, so I'm over here at uh, Gearhead Auto Fabs. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's actually a tuning shop over here in Austin. They specialize in Japanese cars. Uh, yeah, so my boy Marco is here. So he's actually installing some new parts on the Z today. As always, you guys love his 370Z. So yeah, he's installing some uh, aftermarket seats, some cipher seats. So right now, the passenger side, it's kind of hard to see, but the passenger side is uh, gutted and the cypher seats are inside the inside this warehouse. They went to Home Depot to grab some stuff. So yeah, they should be here pretty soon. Uh, let me just show you guys the other cars that are around here. My Lancer, Marcos 370Z over here. Ooh, we have a Kuki front end 240SX, pretty clean. Like those headlights, super mean. Let's see. This thing's got it. And over here we have a Ford Focus ST. Here we have a Civic uh, EG hatchback. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, the owner here, Jerome, he specializes in building a lot of Hondas and Nissans a lot, mainly. Um, when I meant build, I meant like crazy builds. Uh, this right here is fully gutted out. So no interior weight reduction. And uh, usually when Jerome builds Hondas, he used to have a 1200 horsepower Honda CRX. It's crazy. He brings them like half mile racing. Uh, and then he wrecked that one. And now I think he's building another CRX. It's been a couple months since I've been here to Gearhead Auto Fab. So yeah, hopefully we get to see some pretty cool cars here. And, you know, check it out. That's clean. I've been spending all my time working on nothing. I haven't had time to take this thing to a car wash or anything. <laughs> Sorry, one more time. Well, how big is the turbo? Uh, it's, a, it's a Gary GTX 2971. Okay. So, 71 millimeter. You got a Forge internals in there too? No? Uh, nope. Not this yet. is all stock internals. Stock block. Okay. Yep, stock block. The stock block will go 500 horsepower. Okay. Wow. Uh, so, when the ride tilt blows up. Nice, <laughs> nice. So, what are the big plans on the Civic? You, what kind of block are you gonna drop inside, or is it? It's already got a B18C. Like okay. From a GSR. Nice. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna sleeve it, aluminum yeah. rods, aluminum pistons, um, stage three cams. Um, you know, just build it up. We've already got a dog box coming. Yeah, that'll handle a thousand horsepower. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. What's what's the big number you're aiming for for a first? You know. For so now, just conservative number nine hundred. Nine hundred. Yeah. That's that's a, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's already crazy. Yeah. Wow. We'll see how it comes along. Right now, I'm just getting all I got all the knickknacky things and. Um, Like Jerome's shop, uh, the owner of Gearhead Auto Fab, and he also has a YouTube channel. Give him a shout out. What is it? Uh, Gearheads Auto Fab. Okay, just Gearheads Auto Fab, and I'll link it right here. Okay, check out his channel. If you guys uh, want to check out any Honda builds, imports builds, all kind of builds, okay. he builds like crazy horsepower, uh, you know, drag builds. Yeah, yeah. I do a little travel vlogging. And I go tune race cars for the track, so we get to see some of that as well. Oh, yep, fun stuff. So it's been way too long since I've been over here at Gearhead Auto Fabs, uh, but back then, uh, the uh, I guess you can call it the car, shop car, whatever you call it, uh, is a black EK Coupe Civic. Um, it was not running, so just sitting outside. And right now, shit. Monster. Big turbo. It's crazy.
So the main thing we're here is to check out Marco's new seats. These are Cypher seats. Ooh, look at that red, super nice. It's gonna match the, uh, the whole car theme super well. Cypher. And then bracket seats right here. I nice. mean, yeah, the brackets for the seats. Low brackets. Yeah, really low brackets. Price tag still on. When I think of Cypher, uh, well, you haven't watched it yet, so you won't know, but. So uh, I just watched the new Fast and Furious 8, ah, and the bad so guys are from Cypher. Yeah. <laughs> so we got some Cypher seats right here. Yeah, we the bad guys. <laughs> Sit down these seats. Let's see. Oh. Damn. So first thing, the shoulders straight away hug me. The shoulder pads, my shoulder pads are just like um, really, really nice, really firm in place. Yeah, it's pretty good overall. I mean, I'm... I'm a little picky. I like the side bolstering a little more, but the shoulders definitely. The shoulder padding is much more than my NRG seats in the Civic, but this one, uh, my my bolstering on the leg is a little more. But these are nice seats, man. My my shoulders feel like feels as if there's someone giving me a pat on the back the whole time. <laughs> so Marco said, uh, the seats I can feel a difference in weight. I'm gonna put you guys down. Not strong enough for that. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow. Big difference. I, I wonder. Maybe like five, ten pounds. Yeah. Ten pounds, maybe. That would be a good difference. Yeah, ten. Wow. Ten pounds. Let me see it in stock seats now. Oh yeah. It no shoulder padding at all. Yeah. Wow. Big difference. Back of the seats. There's like a carbon fiber weave as well. It's pretty sweet. I'll go just install the sliders on it. And with every bucket seats, these are universal seats. Just the seat itself, and then the brackets, you would have to get a bracket that's meant for your car. Yeah, Alright, so we're trying to find out if these seats actually do weight reduction. <laughs> so the stock seats. 30... 38. 30. What 38.8? Let's just say 39. 38.8. Okay. Now we're gonna do these cypher seats. Moment of truth, guys. Is it just for show or is it for weight reduction? <laughs> oh yeah. 29.2. Yeah, it's a good 10 pounds. Nice, yeah. Pretty accurate. 10 pounds. Okay. So Marco just put on this uh, mounting bracket and then just uh, yeah, kind of drilled in these bolts. So right now, this side is pretty much done. Make sure you get the nylon lock. Safety precaution. They didn't provide this with the seats, surprisingly. I was like, man, they only provided hardware for sliders to go on. Yeah. But the brackets never came with any uh, hardware, so I gotta head home deep. Yeah, I think mine didn't, mine didn't uh, come with it too. Yeah. Damn, these are like super on there. Super tight. Yeah. Super tight fit. Yeah, it still slide back and forth. Yeah, yeah. So you can see you slide, you push, pull up, slide back and forth on there. You gotta be squared up on the frame, on the bracket. Nice. The car seats are four. We got Marco sitting on his car seats, Jerome, and we are watching Jerome's video. Just uploaded 20 seconds ago. <laughs> Who's that? That's a Shiki build car right there, yeah. Shiki just posted his car for these cars. Yeah. I can, I mean, you can see our intercooler on there. Shit! Nah, damn! So he 
took off two tenths of a second late, but he only oh. lost by point productive. All right, Marcos 370Z. Right now we got both seats out of there. Weight reduction, not for long. And yeah, we are. Let me check on the progress of Marcos seats installation. Over here in God, you're in Auto Fat watching King's Must Rise video. <laughs> So far, we already mounted the uh, um, seat belt thingy over here. So we just gotta mount the other side as well. All right, first seat going in. I was saying, I thought you went full re weight reduction without the seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. I gotta connect the seat belt sensors on first. Let me go on the other side. I gotta go on the other okay. side too. So after you. So this is where you sit in the passenger seat right here. Super you can't low. see the road because you don't want to see where <laughs> we're going. You, you can't even see shit. Yeah, bro. All right. So this we're gonna connect the OEM wires on it into the seat belt sensor lock. On there. So we're just gonna slap it on like this. As so. So you can have the seat belt, you know. I don't have a ding on the seat belt, but. So that the light won't come on. Reason, yeah, the light won't come on. But the airbags will come on though, because these don't have airbag seats. So we just slap those on there. Go to the other side and bolt it up. seats really pop. You can tell the whole car is white. From the outside you can see the weight seats straight away. Bolts right on there. Match the OEM ones. So we got the 15 on there. OEM. Shout out Planet for these seats. Don't put it on too tight yet. Forward. Grab the other two. And we look, we make it make, we make it look easy at J Media right here. <laughs> All right, just like that, the seats are on. The seats are in, look how clean that looks. So that's a uh, suede for the material. Great suede. Alright, now for the passenger side. Passenger side is way easier to put in. Yeah, no it's steering wheel in the, in the way. way. Alright, so uh both sides of the seats are in. They look super nice. Let's show you guys. Damn. See from the front, you can see that's red. Super aggressive looking seats. Wow. After a whole day of waiting for an opera, and the city. 
seats. How do you like the seats, Marco? Oh man, I can't wait. Let's drive it first and then we'll see. <laughs> I think we gotta should... hit some turns real hard too. They should stay on my shop floor so I can keep sitting on them. <laughs> right? That, dude, it was so comfortable when we were watching the video. That lunch break though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was almost falling asleep and then I forgot we gotta fucking do some work. That's it. Start up the EK Coupe Civic. This thing is a monster. I haven't heard it start up in person before. Uh, gonna do a dyno tune on it. So, how much power are you hoping out of this thing on the dyno run? I put a smaller turbo on it, so I guess 800 to be fine on the dyno. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Gonna aim for 800 to the wheel. You guys can see this is not your typical Honda Civic on the road. This is one crazy build. Here at AutoFab over here at Drone Shop. Now me and Marco, we're about to roll out. <laughs> 